I am a little concerned about today uh, because today is challenge day. I have been set the task of building a website from beginning to end. We are talking getting the domain name all the way through to having a completed functional website in 15 minutes. And I am going to do this with a podcast website. So I'm going to build a podcast website. I'm even going to throw in there a little contact forms plugin, I think, and hopefully if I have time, a little SEO assistance as well, all in 15 minutes. So start the clock <laughs> and let's get going. To get started, if you're following along, just head down to the top pin comment or the description and click on that link and it will take you through to Bluehost, who we're going to use for our domain name and also for our hosting. OK, so we're going to get started now just here and I'm just going to choose this basic option. Uh, it's going to do for most new websites. Let's do that. And then we want to register a new domain. So my new podcast website, for example, and search. That's available and I've got my WordPress basic hosting here, my .com, and I also get free trials of these for the sake of ease today. I'm just going to remove them like that and continue to check out. So you're just going to put all of the details into here, pay for that, and then you will get an email. That email will give you a link to this page. So this is where we want to be. This is where that email is going to take you and I am just going to add site. And I want to obviously install a new WordPress site just there and click continue. Give the site title a name, same as before, my new podcast website. If you, if you spell it right the first time, it's faster, but when you're under pressure, okay, continue. Uh, what domain name would you like to connect? So this is where you're going to connect the domain name that you just registered. So WordPress is now installing and my time is ticking down. So this, this is internet connection. This isn't my, <laughs> this isn't my fault. I can't be held responsible for how long it takes the WordPress site to install, which to be fair is less than a minute, but you know, we're, we're on the clock. Once the install's complete, it's gonna drop you here and we don't need any of this. We're not gonna use the AI. We are not cheating. I'm gonna do this by myself and uh, down here, Following a tutorial. I am the tutorial, I say. So I'm going to click on there and go straight through to my dashboard right here. All right. The first thing we need is a theme. So let's go appearance and themes. And we are going to do add new theme. And here we go. I am looking for the Astra theme because I like it and I think it's very easy to use. So let's install the Astra theme and activate. That is done. There we go. And then what we are going to do is, ah, oh, it's making my life so much easier. We're going to use starter templates as well. So it's actually giving me it here. Let's get started with starter templates now just to oh, eat a bit of time, but also show you how to do it. Plugins and add new plugin. And then we are going to search. Oh, hold on. Let's get rid of that. We're going to search for starter templates. Lovely, lovely. And go. This is what we want. Start a templates right here. Install and activate. That is going to take me straight through to this page. Again, we're not using the AI. We're just going to use classic starter templates and build now. Now. There may be a reason I particularly chose to do this with a podcast website. And that's because I know there's a really great starter template for a podcast. So let's use that. So straight up into the search box and we're going to search for podcast because that's what we're doing. And you can see we have a whole variety of options. Some are premium, some are not. But this one here, I like this one. We're going to use this one. And then we're not going to worry about any of this because we're just going to do all of it when we get into the main builder. Oh, I might change the color. Go on. We'll have it blue and continue. Select features. I'm not going to bother with any of that. So we're just going to skip. And again, I'm not going to worry about any of this either. And I'm just going to submit and build. We are on a on the clock. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, excellent. So Starter Templates has built the uh, base of my website in just 23 seconds, which is exactly the kind of speeds we want today. So uh, let's have a quick look at the website, see what that looks like. And here we go. Okay, so 
we have the website. But obviously, this is all somebody else's information. This is all content that is essentially just a placeholder. So we want to start changing this and we want to start moving it to things that suit us and our podcast. So let's start by going up to the customizer. This is where we can make big sweeping changes across the entire website. We can change our fonts using the, uh, here we go, we've got global and typography is all here. We can change our colors across the whole website. So this is really useful for big changes. But we don't need to change any of that, particularly as long as we're happy with generally how it looks, which I am, um, I'm not going to worry about it. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to adjust the site identity options. So things like the site uh, icon and the site logo settings so I can have my own logo and stuff, because of course, that's very important. So let's change them. So let's do that. Let's go to change logo. And I'm just going to take you to our media library. This is all assets added by starter templates, but we're not worried about it. So we're going to upload files, select files, and then we're going to select my logo just here and open. Excellent. That's added. Select. Oh, we need to crop this up to fit the space just like that. Perfect. And crop image. There we go. That's immediately changed. We like that. Happy with all that. Right, we can add a tagline if we want. My new podcast. There we go. And then if we come up here and go back, let's just do a quick change on two. Hold on. We need to go back one more. Here we go. Site, site icon. I want to add a site icon. So this is what's going to show up in the top left, uh, just in your browser. And again, I'm going to use exactly the same image for that. Uh, just makes it look a lot better. So there we go. I'm going to use that one. You can see how that's changed already just in the top there perfectly suits what my website is okay that's site identity done and for now i'm fairly happy with this as it is so let's just publish and then we can start editing each individual page so we'll start changing out images adding galleries videos however we want so that's published to save let's go out of that and let's start editing those individual pages i was talking about i'm going to do that from the admin dashboard down into pages, look at the pages that we already have, and we are going to edit the home page. All right, let's start by editing this image here. It's not the one that I want, so let's change that out. All of the editing options are on the right hand side here, so let's change this image. Again, we have the media library available, but I am looking to upload files, this one here, and let's upload that. Select. There we go. We have a brand new image there. Perfect. We want to change some text. So let's go here and let's do this as my new podcast website. And let's change out our text down here as well. I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm not going to make you sit and watch me type text. So I'm just going to add text and then move on. Otherwise, you're literally going to sit here watching me type, which doesn't seem like much fun for anybody. OK, so I have added text so you can see what the website now looks like. We have all the text in place. I did also add a couple of extra images just here, but everything is in place as we want it to be. All the different text. We have our hosts. And you can see all I did was change the information that was already there. I didn't actually have to do really much at all other than put in my own information and my own images. So you can see how you can do this so quickly. Now, this is just the home page. So let's have a look at a few of the linking options that we've got. And then we'll have a look at the other pages. And then finally, a few tools that are going to help take this to the next level that you don't get with the initial install of starter templates. Okay, let's start with these three here. These are nice and straightforward. For example, Apple Podcasts. We want to have people subscribe, go out and listen to us on Apple Podcasts. You can click on there and that is a call to action button. So let's make that the complete box. It means anytime anybody clicks anywhere on the box, they will be able to activate the link. Then all you need to do is add the link. And I would always recommend 
opening in a new window if it's going outside of your website. So we can do that. I'm not going to add that today because I don't actually have an Apple podcast to link out to, but you absolutely can. Then as we scroll down, you can see that there are plenty of other links. So there's a read more just here. There's a latest episodes here. To link all of those out, we're just going to click again. So it's already opened up the call to action button here. And then we just need to add the link right there um, to send you out. So we know how to add text. We know how to add links. We know how to add images. This is going to allow you to customize your website however you want. Now let's level it up. Let's bring it up to the next level with some additional tools or some plugins. So I'm on our contact us page. This is what it's going to look like when it's live, which is great. We still have links. We have our contact details as to where we are, but we also want people to be able to contact us. So let's do that with a plugin. So let's go to our dashboard. I'm going to look for plugins and I'm going to add a new plugin. The plugin I am looking for is WP Forms. And that's going to give me this here. It's an easy form builder for WordPress. So we're just going to activate that because it's actually already installed. It came along with the um, with the theme that we installed, but we just need to activate it, which is what I have done. And then up to WP Forms, just here. Here we go. So we haven't created any forms. Let's just go through a quick builder. Create your form. And then we have templates that we can use. So let's just go, let's go. And this is what we want, a simple contact form. So let's use the template. And there we have it, a really simple contact us form. And we've not had to do anything. Now, there's loads of options, loads of things you can do in the settings, etc. with this. Uh, change what the buttons look like, add tags, descriptions, all this kind of stuff. You can even accept payments using WP Forms if you want to. But for now, I just want a contact us form. So let's save the form as it is. And then what we can do is we can come here and we can embed this form. And we are going to embed it in a existing page. And that is going to be the contact us page. Let's go. Then that's going to take us to this page. And we can go to the block inserter here. So this is the Gutenberg blocks editor. That's what we're using for everything in case you were wondering. I'm going to search for WP forms. And I'm just going to drag and drop that into this space here. Perfect. And then if you've made multiple forms, you just select the form you want from this drop down. We obviously want the contact us form. Perfect. That is inserted. Save. And then we can head back over to the contact us page itself, what it's going to look like. Give it a refresh. And immediately we have a contact us form. So now in the contact section, people can actually contact us by just adding their name, email, and their message and hitting submit. This will all come through to the dashboard, which I will show you very quickly. Here we go, WP Forms. And this will all come through to here where you can see comments that have been left. So now we have a contact us form really easily. Now it's all well and good having a really great website, but if nobody can find it, we have a problem. So let's do a little bit of SEO work. And again, we're gonna go to the plugins for this. So we're going to add new plugin and we're gonna look for all-in-one SEO as AIO SEO in this search. And we're just going to install and activate. And we're just gonna follow through all of the steps here that it wants us to follow. Nice and straightforward. We don't need to worry about it too much today. Okay, once we've gone through the wizard and we have all-in-one SEO installed, I'm just gonna show you how to check one key thing. And that is we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna to go to sitemaps and we are going to look here to ensure that enable sitemap is toggled on. That's what we want. We want this to be enabled. And then I've got this message at the top that I want to, does it want me to connect to Google automatically to add sitemaps? Essentially, do I want to connect to Google Search Console? The answer is absolutely yes. So we are going to connect to Google Search Console and again here, connect to Google Search Console. All you're going to do from there is follow through a few extra steps by essentially giving authorization or permissions to All-in-One SEO that will connect your website to the Google Search Console using your XML sitemap. And essentially what this means is that websites are going to be able to, or sorry, search engines are going to be able to crawl through your website, gather data, and work out 
what your website's about and when they should be showing it to people, because that's exactly what you want. You want websites to know about your, uh, so you want search engines. I keep saying websites. You want search engines to know about your website, know what the context of your website is so that it can show it to people at the right moment when they're searching. So having those things installed and activated is really important. Okay, so I think I'm getting very close to time here. So let's get this site launched. I think I'm happy with where we are. So uh, up here, I've got a little notification, launch site. So let's click on that. Come on, come on, come on. And then here it's saying the site's not live. We are just going to turn that off. So we're showing the live site. This comes direct from Bluehost. Uh, so that's actually a really great tool. Okay, that's off. I'm starting to panic. I'm starting to panic. Um, let's go to dashboard. And I think we have just enough time to maybe have a look at the site itself. So let's do that. Here we go. So this is the, uh, the homepage that we did most of our work on. So we have all of our different elements here. This looks fantastic. Like this has taken, if I'm quick enough, uh, just about 15 minutes. Uh, we have our episodes page where we can upload all of our episodes just into here. Again, all you've got to do is change details uh, about us. Again, looks fantastic. All we have to do is change some details. There's even a great opportunity to put some video in here from your podcast. If you want to do that, would strongly recommend checking out Smash Balloon. Um, I will link a video uh, at the end of this video that you can watch to do that. And our contact us page with our contact us form. Again, this is all looking absolutely fantastic. And I think I have just run out of time. Hopefully, let's go. Okay, so I checked the timer and I am the smidge over time, but I think it's so close that I get a pass. I think the website looks fantastic. Now, you may be thinking, but you didn't actually add the podcast in there. So there's no podcast audio. There's no way to listen to a direct podcast on there. I didn't show you how to do that. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because my good friend Yuvraj did a whole video on how to do that and with a really fantastic tool. So if you want to know how to do that, watch him. Click this video right here.